Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we will be doing a quick performance uh, check of uh, the two Dimensity chip, the Dimensity 7200 on the Vivo uh, V27, and we also have the IQ Neo 7 with the Dimensity 8200 chip. So these are two mid-range chip sets. So how much of the difference uh, does it bring in performance? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So uh, we'll just open uh, the device here. So uh, I mean uh, the settings on both the devices. So here you go, uh, settings we have opened and um, let's see the about phone on both the phones. Uh, so there you go. You can see that uh, now uh, this is Dimensity 7200 octa-core processor, 8GB RAM. We have the 3.1GHz uh, Dimensity 8200 on this. Android 13 is available on both the devices. So that's the uh, UI and you can also see that both the devices are Fanta choice because both are from Ico or uh, rather Vivo. So you can see here both are uh, almost same in terms of uh, software experience. So Dimensity 7200 versus Dimensity 8200. So how much of a difference that makes? Let's uh, check out so first uh, let's uh, do the cpu throttling test then we'll uh, see the attitude benchmark score and also the geek bench score so let's start with uh, cpu throttling so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin the throttling test so let's uh, start the throttling test the So now we have completed uh, the throttling test and you can see here uh, the Dimensity 7200 on the Vivo V27 was uh, throttled to 73% of its max performance. Now here uh, the throttling was 75% uh, not much of difference but you can see the max value. Uh, is definitely on the higher side with the Dimensity 8200 chip. So that was the throttling test of these two devices. Let's go to the Antitude Benchmark score. So here we have the Antitude Benchmark score of these two devices. You can see here 6 lakh uh, 8 lakh So you can see the uh, individual scores. The Ico Neo 7 with the Dimensity 8200, Vivo V27 with the Dimensity 7200. So the CPU definitely is better, GPU is again better, uh, different uh, is uh, much higher than the memory score and the UX score of these two devices. So you can see here, uh, this is uh, the uh, the benchmark score, uh, Android benchmark score for these two devices. Now obviously the 7200 is pretty good mid-range chipset, but uh, the 8200 is definitely much uh, better in terms of overall performance. So this is the Android benchmark score. Next let's uh, go to the Geekbench score and uh, we'll see the final values. So we are starting the Geekbench test, uh, Geekbench 6 test and we'll see the final results. So that was the Geekbench test and you can see here single core score is 1187 while on the 8200 it's 1221 and here we have 2661 and 3251 so obviously uh, there is a difference in terms of uh, the uh, Geekbench 6 test uh, as well. So that was the performance testing of these two uh, devices uh, both uh, with uh, the Fanta choice while uh, the processor is different the Dimensity 7200 and the Dimensity 8200. So hope this video is useful in identifying uh, how the performance is uh, of these two mid-range uh, chipsets from uh, MediaTek. So that was the, the uh, comparison video. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.